we have taken a new question in this question we will try to apply the basics and learn how we can apply it and solve the question like this okay so the question goes like this there is a wedge of capital mass m and there is a small mass m which is connected through the pulley and their motions are you know constrained now why this wedge will move this wedge will move when this small m comes down when the small m comes down the wedge will get pulled forward right can you imagine this let us try to visualize the problem in a step by step manner let us first take the wedge now how the wedge will move the wedge will move along the horizontal surface right so its acceleration will be horizontal right and if we take a small m can you visualize how the small m will move small m will definitely come down right now isn't small m is also moving with the wedge for example if you visualize this motion m suppose you are sitting here and look at the small m how the small m will move with respect to you you are moving with the wedge right and this small m will appear as if it is going down right now suppose you come from there and stand on the ground if you stand on the ground you will not move with the wedge right so the wedge along with small m will move on your right hand side so entire mass m capital m and small m both are moving on the right hand side so they are moving together right hand side along with that small m is coming down right so small m will have two acceleration let us call the acceleration of wedge as capital a and then we can show acceleration of small m has one component downward let us call this as small a and one in right hand side let us call that capital a right and if we take this wedge and block individually we can show all the forces for example let us take the wedge if we take the wedge we have definitely mass it has mass so there will be gravitational force and it will be always vertical direction so in mechanics problem generally we assume that whatever is happening is near the earth surface the earth is assumed to be flat and direction of mg which is gravitational force will be downward direction right so that is why mg is downward and then there will be normal reaction from the surface which direction will be normal reaction normal force always pushes so the surface the horizontal surface will push the wedge in the upward direction right then we have tension t because of this string tension will always pull tension can never push so tension will act away from the point of application so that is why tension is down here now this string is wrapped around this pulley and then there is another tension force at the other end now these two tensions the value of them as you can see we have marked to be same so this t will be equal to that tension force so there is some assumption here the assumption is the string is massless and it is inextensible right and we have assumed that the pulley is smooth so if we have all these three assumption then we can say that the tension throughout the string is same okay so these two tensions are same and then we have of course this small m is moving right hand side right it has an acceleration capital a now acceleration cannot happen without any force so what kind of force horizontally will be there on small m which will cause the acceleration capital a that force must be normal reaction from the wedge on the small m right so according to newton's third law if one object applies normal reaction suppose there is a force on small m small m will apply an equal and opposite force same normal reaction on capital m in this way right so there is another force n1 here right what other force comes in your mind 
what is given in the problem is this surface is smooth the horizontal surface but the surface between capital N and small m they are not smooth the coefficient of friction is k right and we have we learned that small m is moving relative to capital M which direction it is moving relative to capital M it is moving downward right that is the only relative motion between small m and capital M because the other motion is capital A which is with capital M so friction is because of the relative motion right and relative motion is downward so friction on small m is upward and since this friction force is applied by the wedge in upward direction on small m there will be a pair of this force according to again Newton's third law which will be downward direction on capital M right so you know one thing I wanted to tell you here is that whenever you see any force always ask yourself where is the pair of that force because universe is an isolated system right if there is a force there must be a pair of that force an equal and opposite force somewhere right can I ask you one thing where is a pair of this mg that we haven't shown anywhere this mg is applied by whom this mg is applied by the earth right so the pair of mg is the mg applied by the wedge on the earth now the earth is not the part of our system so that is why we are not showing it here but whatever force is applied by capital M on small m there is a pair because both small m and capital M are part of our system right so this is the free body diagram of small m and capital M right okay so let us write Newton's second law of equation for the wedge as well as for small m right first let us write for wedge okay so along x-axis what all forces you see one force is n1 right like that there's another force t this one any other force only two forces are there so net force is along the direction of acceleration t minus n1 right this must be equal to mass time acceleration of wedge fine and along y direction what are the forces we have n2 mg tension and this friction force right so the net force in vertical direction is n2 minus mg minus kn1 minus t this is equal to zero because there is no acceleration along y-axis right now let us write down equations of motion for small m along x and along y direction along x direction what are forces you can see you have n1 force right so n1 force should be equal to mass time acceleration what is the acceleration of small m along x-axis acceleration is capital A right along y-axis what are the forces along y-axis we have mg kn1 and tension right so mg minus kn1 minus t should be equal to mass time acceleration right now let us count number of variables here we have n1 n2 t small a and capital a we have five variables right and we have only four equations so we need another equation what could be that at the start of the problem we have analyzed the situation and we have learned that there is a relation between the motion of small m and capital M right so how their motions are related so that motion you can see that the length of the string is fixed right if it is L1 this is L2 and this is L3 right so I can say that L1 plus L2 
plus L3 is a constant right and if we differentiate this equation what I'll get rate of change of L1 plus what is the rate of change of L2 L2 doesn't change right so its length is fixed so this is 0 plus dl3 by dt is equal to 0 rate of change of constant is also 0 right now if we differentiate this again what we will get is d square l1 by dt square plus d square l3 by dt square is equal to 0 fine so there is this relation which equates the acceleration of l1 with acceleration of l3 now what is the acceleration with which l1 is increasing acceleration of l1 is small a right this point is moving with acceleration a1 whereas this point is not moving at all so acceleration of increase of l1 is a1 sorry small a so d square l1 by dt square is a1 what about d square l3 by dt square this is the acceleration of l3 now if we have these two points so this point is moving with acceleration capital A right whereas this point is fixed so what is the acceleration of increase of L3 capital A is creating a decrease in length right so d square L3 by dt square will be written as minus A this is equal to 0 right so small a will be equal to capital A fine so this is a constraint relation so now we have five equations we have this one equation one second third fourth and we have this one as fifth equation and now we can solve this problem by you know simultaneously solving this five equation you can also get the constraint equation by using our one of those three techniques by using the work done by tension should be equal to zero so t into x1 should be equal to t into minus x2 so you'll get x1 is equal to x2 and when you differentiate it you'll get a1 is equal to a2 or a is small a is equal to capital A so like that also you can get right one thing you should note here is that small m has two acceleration small a and capital A its net acceleration will be root over a square small a square plus capital A square okay so this is how you solve a problem like this right so thanks for watching the video we'll come up with another question another similar question and we will discuss in detail how you can apply your basics to solve a difficult looking problem like this okay thank you